Hey, what's up guys? I'm Bray Torn and welcome back to Jagged Alliance 3. So I know we do need to hire a new person to replace our uh, you know, fallen comrade here. However, we do not have a lot of money and I believe we need about 20,000 to be able to re-up on these four uh, mercs that we already have because their contracts are going to be expiring here in a couple days. And we're also going to be doing some operations that cost money. So I feel like we should wait to hire somebody else until after we've done these contracts. Just make sure we have the money in order to uh, be able to afford to hire somebody else. I guess I forgot we do need to level up Fox. So that's what we're going to start with, giving her a new perk. And she actually has some really good choices here because she's already got the first perk in Dexterity and her Dexterity is 100. So that means you can get the, the 80 skill ones. And these are all really solid. All three of them are really good. This is uh, every time uh, you land two hits while on Overwatch, you're inspired because you four more AP. Uh, of course, that only gives you that bonus if you put her in Overwatch and if you hit both times. Uh, so, probably not going to get that very often. Before AP is nice. Uh, the reactive fire, really like this one. Make an interrupt attack with firearms when an enemy attack misses you during the enemy turn. So yeah, anytime anybody misses you, then you'll be able to attack them back. Does not trigger while taking cover, of course. But yeah, that's pretty good. And then the Ambusher. Gain slightly increased chance for extra stealth kills while sneaking, and enemies surviving from stealth kills are suppressed. And I think this is the one we're going to get, since that's kind of the way we've been using Fox as, uh, as our stealthy character. So yeah, we'll get her the Ambusher. I can see that being pretty useful. Reactive Fire would have been a good choice, too. Maybe we'll get that next time. So let's go ahead and now get some operations started up. Do we need to scout the area? Yeah, I feel like we, we probably don't need to do that. We have other things that we want to do here. And you know what we should probably do before I forget, because I forgot to do this last episode, is to go ahead and spend our parts. We have a steel pipe here that we can put on one of our guns. And I think we're going to do Barry shotgun and improve this shotgun some. Because he already has the short barrel in here, and that's actually why it has the decreased AP cost when attacking. So it's not actually from the gun, like I thought it was. But yeah, we actually need a bit more range. I know it's a shotgun, so it's supposed to be something you use for uh, closer range. But we've seen that he just can't fire very far, uh, and it, it does cause a lot of uh, problems. Because a lot of these areas are quite opened up. And, and while I like the shotgun, and I do want to continue to use it and get the advantages like the bleeding and the heavy damage it does do up close, I feel like increasing the, the range would not be a bad idea. And also, this results in extra damage at close range. So it makes it better both at range and when you're close range. Because you don't get that with this one here. Of course, it's going to cost more AP, and you won't have that wider attack cone. Uh, but yeah, this also increases the clip size, which it already has a large... Uh, clip size. So I think it'd be useful to switch over to that. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to get the long barrel high cap. Alright, so we switch over that. We're going to keep the full choke on there. And I don't know how we're doing on hearts now. We got 35. We don't have any more barrels though. I don't know if there's much else that we want to do. We could take a look at like the AK here. Uh, but you know what? We should probably see if anything needs to be repaired first. That's, that does require parts. So let's go ahead and do the repairs first with live wire here. And just see if there's anything that really needs to be repaired. I mean, not really. I guess you could do one of her guns here. And maybe that shotgun. I don't want to repair it though until we know we're going to keep it. We can actually break down one of these shotguns here. Now this isn't going to cost anything. It's eight hours to go ahead and repair that up. Why not? Yeah, we're going to break that down. Let's go ahead and start that. Let's go and pause that. And then, I guess before we start anything else, because we're going to do the militia training here, I'm going to break down that shotgun that we have. So we have the two double barrel shotguns. So let's go ahead and get rid of one of these. This is the more damaged one, so we'll go ahead and scrap that. Get eight more parts. And then, yeah, we'll see what we can do with Grunty's AK. So it might want to get. Now, we don't want to change the stock up. It does give you more attacks during Overwatch, but the accuracy bonus from aiming is halved. So that seems like a pretty big uh, penalty there. Uh, we do have a lens, so we could change up the scope here. But you need a chip to get the ones that I think would be best. 
Yeah, for a, an AK. We already got the extended mag, and we already have the vertical grip. Can't put like a flashlight on there. Maybe the recoil uh, booster here. Because what's nice about this is that uh, the burst long wears in full auto fire more shots. So that seems pretty useful given you're going to use more ammunition. So it's one thing to consider. But yeah, you get more shots out of each uh, each turn. So yeah, I think we're actually going to go ahead and do that. You can also get a, a moderate accuracy bonus for subsequent attacks against the same target. We're going to go with this one. So use the parts for that. Oh, it failed. And so the AK lost some of his condition, unfortunately. So sometimes they can fail. Kind of based on your mechanical skill, which Livewire does have a high mechanical skill, so you got a good chance of success. So it's down to 89% here. All right, that's okay. So we adjusted that. I don't know if you lose the parts when you fail. And can we modify this at all? We can, we can change it. So let's actually go ahead. I don't know if we got any penalties for doing that, but let's go and add this in there as well. All right, so that's good. Let's go and get that started. And then we have one injured character. So we could have Fox heal that injured character up, or you would just have them sit. We're obviously gonna do militia training as well. Prey is gonna be doing this. We need to protect this location. We don't really need to speed it up, I don't think, because we got all these other things that we're doing. So we're just gonna have Prey do that for now. Uh, we're not gonna scout the area. Yeah, I don't think we'll do that. And yeah, I suppose we can treat wounds. Because I think the only way they heal up is either if they're sitting there doing nothing or if you treat the wounds. Could just have Barry sit there and do nothing and then Fox can do something else. Probably won't take him that long to heal. You know what? Yeah, let's let's not treat the wounds. And instead we just won't have Barry do anything and that'll allow us to train up Mercs. And so what we might want to train is Fox's health skill that she doesn't really have any. Yeah, that's not really gonna work. Uh, so we need to change up the stat here. Maybe marksmanship. We'll see if there's anybody who can do a good training there. Not really. Grunty could train her up by a point. I suppose what we'll work on is agility. We'll have Fox train up Grunty. Not gonna make a huge difference. About one point probably is what I'm expecting here. And then yeah, just let Barry sit and rest. Could also do R and R, but that does cost money. It's not a lot though. And he'll heal quicker. Yeah, we'll give him the R and R. Since it's not very expensive. Because we're running a little low on the the medicine. In addition to that, you know, you gotta use you know somebody to, to heal the character. Um, so live wire's finished with repairing those items. And I guess there's not really anything for her to do right now. Because she can't do anything alone. Well, we could see well, we don't have any crafters available, so never mind. I was gonna say if we could craft some explosives or ammunition or anything, but that's not an option. I think we did get some stuff for that. That is finished. Alright, so he's done relaxing, so it healed uh, one wound. And you get that well rested. Yeah, so it only healed the, the one. I see, so you'd have to have him do it again. I guess we will. And that's only because, again, we're running a little bit low on the meds here. We haven't been finding as much as we had been. Now, is there anybody else still available here? No, it looks like just Livewire. She's the only one currently available. Always room to grow. And do we want to train Militia again? No, what we're gonna do is use Livewire for that to make it go a little bit faster. I know she's not great at it, but it's still gonna speed it up by a few hours because there's nothing else for her to do while we wait for these guys to finish training up here. So might as well make her do some work here. All right, so this is gonna cost us Let's go. 1,000 something. So we keep spending this money, we're not gonna have enough to hire, to rehire all our characters here. So something to keep in mind. All right, so militia training is done since that was really quick. Let's just say no for now, let me just take a look here. I think we have, we have all eight, they're just not well trained. We could afford to do it again, I think. Yeah, we can afford to do it again. 
And Barry will be done resting, so you'll have two people. So there's no reason to have her help out with the militia training. So let's just have Bray do that. Is it uh, more expensive as you add people? I'm not entirely sure. It doesn't look like it. Looks like it's based off the cost of just one character. I'm not sure though. Because that's something to consider as well if it's cost more to add another character. So yeah, we'll just have Prey do this and it'll take 19 hours, about 20 hours. And so basically as soon as Barry's done there, we can now go ahead and have the other two characters do a little bit of training or there's also, now that Barry's available, you could have him craft ammunition. Might want to take a look, see if there's any ammunition in particular that we need. Or explosives. So let's just take a look and see what all we can craft here. So you can do pipe bombs, flashbangs, and molotovs. Okay. So you might want to do some molotovs or something. Let me take a look at the situation, uh, the ammunition situation. I'm not sure where we're at in that regard. See, I feel like we're good when it comes to ammunition. So why not just make a Molotov? Because I don't know that we have any left. Did we pick up those Molotovs from uh Yeah, we have one left. So yeah, let's just make a Molotov. So we'll have Barry do that for us. And this makes five of them, I believe. So yeah, let's let's do that. Could also make pipe bombs. I think we only have one gunpowder, right? So I don't know how you'd create both of those. You need a lot of gunpowder to be able to make these grenades. These ones need TNT. Oh, but yeah, we'll just do the, the Molotovs. Those are, are helpful. And so that means Livewire again doesn't have anything to do here, unfortunately. We can look, see if there's anything to repair. We looked at this already, but let me just see, make sure there's not anything. Yeah, there's really not anything worth doing. So she just have to wait until these guys finish training up here. All right, that is finished. All right, Barry finished with the craft explosives. That did not take very long. Okay, so a lot quicker than I expected. Um, so we can go and train up some more mercs here, though. Can you only do the one at a time? Yeah, you can only do the one at a time. Okay, I didn't realize that. All right, so then there's not really anything for them to do outside of scouting up the area. So might as well have them do that because together they'll take a day. Yeah, might as well. Because we have not scouted all the zones around here. And we still have this person, uh, these two, doing stuff, so. Well, that's done. Ready and available. All right, so Fox got a leadership from doing that. And Grunty actually got two agility. Okay, I was only expecting him to get uh, one of them. That got his agility up to 80. All right, excellent. Her leadership's at 22, so still pretty low. So we need to just wait for Prey to finish up. And we won't set him to do that again. It looks like he's holding on to that a little bit longer. Oh um, yeah, we're not gonna have him do it again. Yeah, he's keeping them well rested for a bit longer than anticipated. A bit longer than we saw before, anyways. Uh, and we also finished with the scouting. And we gained supplies from the enemy. So not a negative event here. So far we had only seen negative ones. So that's nice. We got something positive out of that. Yeah, maybe it is worth doing the well rested if they're going to keep it for a while. All right, so now we need to send our, our squad somewhere. Might as well before the contract expires. And we'll just use the five, so we want it to be like an easier task. And we're not going to go after, like, say, the garrisons here. That wouldn't be wise. Uh, maybe come over to I-9. Uh, one thing that was pointed out in the comments is there is another diamond mine up here. That I didn't know about. It's just the, the repair shop takes up the, the main part of the square here. But there's a diamond mine in addition to the underground sector. Uh, but yeah, what we're going to do is let's go to this I-9 because we have that one mission here. That is in our notes. I showed it last episode. The right-hand man received an invitation to meet him in Rimville. And so, yeah, that's what we're going to do. Let's go and head over there. This is the place I was telling you about. So we got there we pretty, pretty quick. So let's go ahead and do the tactical view. 
Uh, it's nighttime. I don't know if we'll have to fight anybody here. I guess it depends on how the event goes. There's the boss. There's also some character named Molly you can talk to. Yeah, we probably don't want to get in a fight over here. This is a lot of dudes. I don't even know if it's possible to have this result in a fight, but let's avoid it. I do not know what it is, but we should probably take it just in case we need it. I agree, Livewire. Um, so let's actually have her go over there. I don't know if this is going to be a problem. All right, I'm going. They're going to care that we're going in here and hacking their stuff. I don't know if you need to sneak into doing that. I don't think so. Gain some intel here. Might want to sneak just to be safe here. Honestly, I don't understand the point of just to make sure that we don't get ourselves in trouble here. Alright, so we succeeded there. Now we can go ahead and loot it. Let me pick, it. I insist. Yeah, pick the lock. She was successful. Oh, wow. So we got a heavy weapon here. This is a grenade launcher. We don't have too many grenades, we only got the two that they give you here. But it's still pretty cool. So let's get this uh, picked up and probably given to Barry. I think it makes most sense to give it to him. Yeah, we want to give it to Barry. So we'll have uh, the shotgun be held by Grunty for now. And then this will go into Barry's backpack. And we'll go pick up the ammunition as well. The uh, grenades there. All right, so useful. Uh, you only got the two grenades, so you want to be, you know, careful how you use it, I suppose. But yeah, definitely worth looting that. All right, we're done sneaking here. Let's put her back and stand up, and go ahead and uh, go inside here. And yeah, go and pick up all the herbs. We need more meds. Let me kind of just dip around the location looking for herbs. Since uh, generally wherever there's plants, you'll find herbs. I don't know I if they care at all. Is, the, is there like a stealing mechanic in this game? That's something I'm, I'm not sure with. Obviously, they don't care about us picking up the herbs. But, uh, you know, like when we were in that building, is that a problem? Do they ever care if you go pick up their stuff? I mean, you're, you're hacking into their stuff, so it seems like it would be an issue. Fine. I guess we're going to find out. Cause I'm about to hack that, so <laughs> let's see if it's an issue. Yeah, we just got ourselves some extra money, that's helpful. It seems almost like they don't care. We will do. So maybe they don't. Hello there. I didn't really know how the game works, this guy's just standing on the chair here. I'm sure his boss would appreciate that. But yeah, they're getting a lot of money here. So it's definitely not something I would want to miss out on. You got it. Alright, so not seeing anything else in here. There is an upstairs. I guess we can go check that out real quick. Thank you for stopping by. Yep, we're gonna talk. Just see if there's anything up here. Yeah, it looks like there's something to hack right there. Heading out. So let's go ahead and see what we get from that. Might be some intel, might be some money. Either way, we want it. Alright, it's so got some more intel. Additional intel at this location. Which might have to come back here. Possibility. All right, so let's go ahead and talk to the boss, see what he has to say. I hear you have entered the diamond business. In fact, you did it with a bang. Your quarrel with the Legion doesn't concern me. Trading partners come and go. You can fight. That interests me. I'd like to ask you a small favor. It's a task for which I think you might be well suited. You stand in the way of the Major's plans for taking over the diamond industry. I am okay with that. Your quarrel with him doesn't concern me much, as long as you keep it civil at the market. I'm also doing business with big buyers like your friends from Adonis. However, sometimes business interest outlives friendship, if you know what I mean. He is an extraordinary man. All I can tell you is, um... Boo -boo, dinner is ready! I'm coming, darling. Just give me a minute. 
You shouldn't talk about the measure on an empty stomach. You said yourself, it is bad for your digestion. She's right. Ask me again when you are done with that little favor I asked of you. They pay good money and don't care where the diamonds come from. They're trying to corner the market, but the black market is too slippery for that kind of thing. Just the way I like it. My right-hand man Luigi has been stupid enough to get himself thrown in jail. I need him back here to run my business while I... Well, let's just say Molly and I want to enjoy our newfound relationship without distractions. I need you to break into the good place where they are keeping him and bring him back to me. You will be handsomely rewarded. It's something between a state prison and a private concentration camp. Its director gets government grants for imprisoning honest crooks. But I know he's involved in the slave trade as well. I may not be an angel from heaven, but there are things I would not do. For example, there is no place for slavery at my market. Honest pay for honest jobs. That's how we do it in the family. Jack Hammer runs the good place. He also lends money with huge interest. Those who miss a payment end up in his prison, and the only way out is if he sells you into slavery. I hope you will be kind enough to bring Luigi back to me. Please make sure he comes back right here. I'm very much concerned about his health and well-being. Okay, so I'm not sure. I don't know if we want to talk to, to her. I don't think she'd have a mission or anything. I, mean, I guess we could, but... But yeah, the, I'm not sure if you want to get on that side of the law where you're uh, basically breaking into a prison. But at the same time, this jackhammer guy does not seem like a good person, so... Let's keep moving. Sounds like a pretty horrible person, actually. Let me just talk with any of these forcers here. Oh, uh, yeah, so I don't know which, uh, which route we want to go, if we want to help him or not. And he says he'll pay us a lot, we need more money. And we are mercenaries. So yeah, I don't know. Let's see where it's at and how much of a hassle it's going to be, I guess. I'm not seeing any more goodies here for us. Uh, we did miss that you can salvage this car here. So go ahead and take care of that. There might be more stuff around the edges of the map, but... I don't know if we want to spend the time dipping around there. Uh, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and leave. So let's go ahead and take a look at where this new mission is. Again, just how much of a pain of butt is this going to be. So he's in L6. Right, I'm not entirely sure where L6 is. That'd be down here. It's right there. Okay. I mean, we got to go down there eventually anyways. Alright, so that'd be an option. I don't want to leave this area, though, until after we've dealt with these uh, two outposts that are going to be sending attacks. You can see they're about to do it now. Yeah, so they're organizing the attack squad to take over nearby sectors, so I assume they're going to come over here. And they'll likely be ready soon. Okay, so let's go ahead and send our troops. And I'm assuming they're going to come over here and attack the diamond mine. We do have our militia here, so don't have to defend it. But if we send our mercs there and you got the militia too, then we could just auto-resolve it. It should go well with all those troops there. So yeah, maybe that's what we'll do. It's our only diamond mine, so it's pretty important. Let me see how long it takes to get over there. Let's move. Ready and available. Alright, didn't take very long, but maybe we can in intercept them here. I'm not entirely sure how difficult the fight will be here. Because there's not actually a garrison there. I assume it's going to be defended, though. Let's go over here. If I say I will be somewhere, then that is where I will be. Now, there are other jobs that we have. I think some of these are on that island, though. 
So yeah, there are other jobs that we could be doing. There's also that boat full of explosives here on H10 we need to take care of. So we need to do a scouting mission to see how we can reduce the strength here. Because they do have a garrison, we just couldn't see it. They're pretty strong. So there's the outpost defenders and the garrison. So there's a lot of dudes, there's 16 dudes. Plus they're about to have this assault squad come up. So we could scout the area out real quick. I mean, I say real quick, but uh, I don't know how long it's gonna take. We'll, we'll do the, the two highest wisdom characters and see if that's gonna be pretty quick. Cause we need 20 hours and 15 minutes. I feel like it's worth doing. And since you're scouting, might as well train up your mercs too. All right, so we have the ability to increase health by a little bit, but again, probably not the best way to do that. We can take a look at the marksmanship since we have Prey here. And so I might want to have him train up both of them, get their marksmanship up. That seems like it'd be useful. And that would also have the chance of boosting his leadership. It's another reason to perhaps do it. The only other thing I see doing is perhaps the agility. And boosting Prey's agility by a little bit. Yeah, let's let's go ahead and do the the marksmanship. So we'll have Prey do that, or, or we'll see how long this is gonna take. Cause obviously we don't want. Yeah, I don't know. That we want to spend two days here. Now somebody told me that you can cancel it and they still can get bonuses. So that's what we'll do. We'll have them do it. You know, cause there's no real cost to having them do it. So we'll have them do it. I'll get it done. Just while we are doing this here. But yeah, we probably don't want to attack this uh, location until after we've hired another Merc here. Uh, but yeah, we do want to go ahead and get everybody hired up. So let's go ahead and redo their contracts here. We actually do have a good chunk of money here. I'm a busy girl, and there are a lot of people who'd like to get So 5,200, we're gonna do the full 14 days since that's the one that makes the most like sense. It's when we get the most I'm from it. So get her hired. Livewire, she's the most expensive of our of our mercs currently. I think all ladies are. Oh, he's a bit more expensive now too, Grunty. He was a little bit cheaper when I looked at this. But he's the uh, the cheapest by a few hundred. So his contract wasn't expiring. I don't know if it makes sense to do it beforehand, but yeah, I don't know if you get like some of your money back. Probably not, because you pay the initial cost. Just like a death fee or something like that. See, I don't know if, uh, yeah, I don't know if it's worth it doing that. Maybe I should have waited. Because he had one more day left on his contract, I believe, something like that. Well, he's only hired for 13 days. That's interesting. Yeah, maybe I, hmm, yeah, because he's got 14, they got 13. Okay, so yeah, maybe it did add to his time or something. I'm not entirely sure. But anyways, we need to allow them to finish doing this scouting area. Everybody has been hired. So what we we'll want to go ahead and do before we do anything else is let's hire a new Merc. So there's a few choices here. And I want one reason I wanted to wait is to see how much we can spend. Because you have the option of, of Grizzly as the cheapest character. And he's not bad. He's fine. He's a really cheap character. He's got the good health and the good strength. Okay, marksmanship. So he's all right. But if you're gonna go with a health and strength character, it's better to go with steroid. He's, you know, 2,000 more, so he's definitely a lot more expensive, but he has the higher health and higher strength, and his marksmanship is higher as well. And he's got good mechanical skill. In fact, he's almost as high as Livewire. So that gives you another mechanical option, while Grizzly doesn't have any other skills. His dexterity is lower, as is his agility, so that's something to consider too. You're not going to have as much AP. Uh, as far as his skills, he's got this steroid smash, his unarmed attack. I don't know if you can use it all the time or if you have to be unarmed to use it. Or if you can just click on it and he puts the gun down and uses it. We'll have to see. He's also got the Mr. Fix-It, because he's uh, like Livewire. He's very good at the repairs here. Doesn't come with much here. But yeah, I think we'll go ahead and hire Bobby Steroid. Why not? He's got that very this high health. Gontarski. Do you have business? Yes, I've got business. And we do not have enough to hire him for the full 14 days. Because that's how broke we are currently. <laughs> that's great. 
<laughs> well, we don't even know if we we'll like them anyways. So maybe just do like a 10 day here. Yeah, we'll do like a 10 day mission. Just try them out. I thank you for. All right, so now we need to. Oh, so he's got to travel way over here. All right, so I figured that you'd be able to just send him automatically to one of your ports here, but that is not the case. He's got to go from Ernie and then all the way over here. So you got to pay for him. Wow. Okay. Well, I didn't know. Hope we got enough money for that. So still waiting for the scouting mission to be done. Hey, I'm getting better at this. And then did they get a skill or something? Oh, that's interesting. They're going to attack Ernie Island. All right, so we have finished scouting the area. Uh, we got F7, G6, and F6 scouted. And we also discovered info about nearby events. Larry is in F7. Okay, so here. All right, so that's the attack squad of eight dudes coming over here. So what you might want to do is let uh, Steroid help them out. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. So leave steroid here with the militia because I don't want to send my troops all the way back. And that's why we train militia so you don't have to jump around like that. So yeah, uh, I don't think we will. So now that we scouted this area, we can see what we have to do to make it easier. So every evening, Legion soldiers use the water well at Savannah. So that's G6. So you can go there to reduce the troop numbers. A diversion operation at any of those locations may lure out some of the, the Legion soldiers here. That's basically any of these locations here. Alright, so that might be one way to reduce it. And then there's G8. There's some soldiers there. And so that would be right here. So you gotta fight those soldiers plus any other ones that are there. I mean, eventually you gotta fight them, right? There might be something good at the underground sector. We don't have to reduce all the shields, though. But what we could do is go to this location. Yeah, why not? We'll go over here. And then what we could do is come take this port so that they won't just be able to take the port and attack the island anymore. We'll train up some militia there. Yeah, that's what we'll do. So let's go here first. Oh, wait a minute. We still have them training. And we're not going to wait for that. So let me just see if you abort this, you know, if this actually helps. We could let them go, you know, a couple more hours or whatever, but yeah, I don't, I don't know. I, I think they got some skills. Yeah, it could have went to like 53% or it got up to 50%, excuse me. See if it could have boosted a little bit more, but yeah, I think it's fine. We just did it while we were waiting for the scouting to... Uh, to finish up. All right, so we need to head over to. Oh, whoa, whoa, buddy! <laughs> don't go that way. Why don't you come over here? I'm clicking on stuff. I don't want to click on. Yeah, I am here now. So I would not be surprised if we could intercept them. By the way, if you wanted to do that, and make sure they can't attack. But yeah, I mean, this is why we we put the militia there so they can they can do that. Uh, so let me just see if there's any operations here. Nope, nothing unique there. So we're going to go down to the tactical view, and we're looking for... Let me just double check what this was again. I know it's over here. So we're looking to just kill the soldiers there at the water well. Is it at night, though? This is at night, doesn't it? Every evening. So I assume you got to wait till the evening, right? You would think. Yeah, you'd think you'd have to wait till the evening. Hmm. I'm not exactly sure how that works. Let's just go down and see if there's any enemies here. We can kill the enemies, and then if that doesn't remove the shield, we'll just come back down. You got it. I don't know. Now that looks like something we could use. Because it says the evening, so you'd assume you'd have to come in the evening, but maybe not. I guess we're going. And at the very least, we can like search the location, talk to people. And if we can fight them in the day, it would be better to do so. Though you can sneak better. 
at night, so there is that. Alright, so this is the edge of the map here. I guess we're going. I'm gonna loot this. So we can see the soldiers aren't here, by the way. And can we cash in for real money? Cannot be cashed in for real money. So what do you do with this? Maybe you trade? I'm not entirely sure. So let's just put it in somebody's backpack for now. Since again, I'm not sure what you do with that yet. Uh, we did get some parts though, so that's helpful. But yeah, you can see there's no soldiers here at the watering well, so... We do have to come at night. That's what I'd expect. That's what makes sense. Of course. But I felt like it wouldn't take long for us to come down here and check. Let's move. And we can go ahead and run around and see if we can find take any goodies here. Yeah, there's actually a few different things to loot here. Oh, an M16 Alpha 2. Okay, and a chip. We've actually been needing a chip. Okay, so the M16, we're definitely going to want to make use of that. Uh, just comparing that to, say, the AK-47 here. Uh, now this is uh, has been modified. So it looks like it does less damage than the AK. It has the same range, same critical chance. It does cost one less AP to fire. So there is that. Also you get the increased uh, aiming bonus. So that's helpful. And no auto firing mode with the standard stock. Okay. Does it have like the three round burst then? It has the burst fire. Okay. I used the M16 when I was in the army when I did basic training. Uh, but I had an M4, which is, you know, the carbine version, smaller version. It's uh, better in every way, in my opinion. <laughs> Some people will say that the M16 is more accurate or whatever, but uh, I don't know. I prefer the M4 a lot more. Uh, but yeah, I had an M4 for most of my time in the army. Yeah, I did use this in basic. Yeah, I guess what we'll definitely want it. I don't know that we'd replace the AK for that because it has the same range. The low attack cost is, is nice, but... Uh, Increased bonus when aiming. I mean, it's nice. I'm not saying we'll never use it, but yeah, we'll we'll take it. Let's go ahead and see where we want to put this. Let's put it in Grunty's backpack for now. But it also uses different ammunition. The 5.56 uh, ammunition that, unless we just picked it up, that you did not. Uh, yeah, we don't even have. So that's a problem too. So you might want to put that in a stockpile somewhere. So you don't have to carry it around all the time. Uh, we do have like a lot of gunpowder over here. So we could be crafting some stuff up with that. Okay, so yeah, let's get okay. this over here. here. And then we'll leave the map. So there's something to examine over there. Heading out. So we'll head to that real quick. See what this is. Anybody? Come on. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, it's just uh, letting us know we need to come back in the evening, which we already know about. Okay, so this is what we'll do. Let me get over here, because I don't know if it will save where we're, where we're at. Alright, so we'll just wait until the evening. So it makes sense while you're waiting here to do an operation. Could scout out... Yeah, I could scout that out. And we've seen how long that takes. 14 hours. Uh, when you got two people with the good wisdom here. So yeah, pretty quick. But the evening... When is it? It's not saying the night time. The evening's about like, starts in like, you know, seven hours. So it would make sense to probably not do this then. Probably not do anything actually. Since it's not that long. It says you could start them training and then just cancel it once it gets to the evening. Yeah, I guess that works. And we need to get Livewire's health up. So is that Bray? And you might as well just heal them all up because I don't really see any reason not to. Since it doesn't cost money. I mean, I guess it might make them more tired. So let's just start that. And then train them. And then train them until we get to the evening here. I uh, did get our guy there. Okay, boss. We're at the well. 
No, boss. We won't be smoking anything. Okay, so... They are there. And because we're there, the fight starts up immediately here. Okay. We don't know how many enemies there are. So let's go and start this up. It's not considered a defense. Okay, so we do deploy. We'll have to see how many enemies are here. As of right now, we can only see three. Let's hope that's all there is. Make this nice and easy. And yeah, we'll just deploy here. Let's get these guys deployed and then walk on over there and take these three guys out. Shouldn't be too difficult, right? Let's just take a look and see what direction might want to come from. Hey, you don't want to set all your guys in the same place, so you want at least somebody to come over there. And it would be wise to try and take them out stealthily, at least shoot at them. Yes. So let's sneak. And then bring these guys over here for now. You might be able to hide live wire right there. Better to her to go here and then pray to go over here. And see if you can't take those guys out. I mean, they're all gonna see it, so it's probably not gonna matter. Hide and shoot. That is my game. I said live wire. I meant they'll fox. Never see me, which is kind of a shame, frankly. We'll see if they can even Ready. see Quiet. when you come up over here. Try to become hard to see. Good thing I, am well. I spotted a creep. All right, so yeah, we'll see if they can even see us at all. Got my smoke sweat. A bath will do you good. I can smell you from here. Now stop smoking and give me Alright, so it doesn't look like they can see us from there. They cannot hit what they cannot see. They cannot so we should be able to get everybody back behind this vehicle, hopefully. Yes. And then pray I want to get him over here. We'll see if that works out. Okay. I don't know if they'll be able to see us. Maybe if you're like on your belly, they wouldn't be able to see you. But I don't think there's anybody you can shoot at and not uh, and not be seen. Sometimes it's more fun when you have to try to be quiet. So you're just gonna shoot at this guy? Unless there's a camera nearby, I'd be exposing myself for nothing. Why are they? Why is she saying? Hmm. Because he's crouched down, maybe. What? That's the only thing I can think of is because he's crouched down, you can't hit him. Aiming. So might as well zoom in and hit this guy then. With a headshot. So that killed him. Going undercover. So let's shoot at this guy instead. I mean it's saying the same deal. That's interesting. He's saying it's a blind fire. I see. Because you're coming out from cover, I guess. Is that what it says with this guy, too? A blind fire? Yeah. Okay, so you kind of got to, like, pop out and then shoot him. There you go. So, so far... <laughs> yeah, so far we killed everybody but the one just in stealth. And because he's surprised, because it was Fox that did it, he probably won't yes. even... Yeah, he won't even get a turn. Is this also a blind fire? Yeah, clearly that's a blind fire. That's interesting. Alright, well he's dead. So nice, easy battle there. Didn't take any damage. That's what we want to see. And we can also loot this character. Get some additional ammunition. And then uh, I guess we're done here, right? Yeah, we've already checked the map, so there's nothing else. So now we go back onto this, and uh, we've removed one of the shields at this point. So it should hopefully be an easier fight. Yeah, you can see the garrison's already smaller because we killed those three dudes. Okay, so yeah, that works out. I suppose one thing we could be doing over here is training. Since you just got this character sitting there not doing anything while we wait to get attacked. So it makes sense to have him train up the militia. I know he's not good at it. 
I mean, he's got a skill of nine here. <laughs> it would take him three days and seven hours. Okay, well, I don't know how long it's going to take for them to get here, so might as well start it. I hope this they can always cancel it. Work out. Oh, we don't want that to play it. All right, so yeah, I guess we'll go ahead and do the distraction next. Yeah, I don't know if we want to do that one. That's a lot of dudes got to fight. So I think it's better to go ahead and do the distraction to further reduce the numbers here. Can you do it at F6? You cannot. So you'd have to go up to E6, it looks like. Yeah. So we'll go up to E6 and do it there. Oh, no, we don't want him to do that. That's the wrong squad. So he should be doing that operation still. Yeah, he's good. So we still have them training right now, uh, but here's what we'll do. Let them do it for a little bit longer, see if we can't get some actual health here. Hey, oh, they go a lot faster on the ship there. Yeah, we actually did get some health boost there. Yeah, some nice health bonuses there. It looks like she got up by three points. I like this prey has such a higher skill. So yeah, I think that was worth doing. Um, so let's go ahead and cancel this now. I was going to do up to 50%, but yeah, uh, I feel like we've given enough time. We got some skills done. Uh, Prey got some, some leadership from that as well. So yeah, it is definitely worth spending a bit of time whenever you're just sitting there uh, doing that. And so now his leadership is 82. So let's go and move over to this location. And that attack's going to be starting soon, and that's what we'll be doing in the next uh, episode. Uh, they will not let us auto-resolve, unfortunately. That's a real bummer. Huh. Yeah, I thought we were supposed to be able to auto-resolve for a defense. And it's clearly a defense, and yet it's not allowing me to do so. Maybe because we have a merc there, and so it's different. Maybe it's only when it's just militia. If you're on mercs there, or there, you can't auto-resolve. Yeah, so that's unfortunate. Uh, so we will have to fight this out. We'll do that in the next episode. Hope you guys did enjoy this one. If you did, make sure you have a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. Do hope to see you on the next one, and thanks for watching.